What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of Modern Man. My name is Tulu and today's video, we're gonna be style breaking down David Alaba style. He plays for a German club called Bayern Munich. He is a defender and on the pitch he dominates, off the pitch he dominates again. And I'm gonna show you guys three characteristics that I picked up from David Alaba that you guys can apply into your own style. Let's go. So if this is your first time here, make sure you guys subscribe down to the channel down below. Also hit this channel up with a good thumbs up and also share the content. Let's begin. So David Alaba is quite interesting. I did some little research on him just to pick up an essence of who the person is and just to understand his fashion background, collaborating with sports. I'm starting to take this new approach where I'm starting to learn more about the person so I can specifically understand why they make decisions they do when it comes down to their fashion sense. So the first characteristic I picked up from David Alba is that he focuses on brand relationships, brand building their values, because he wants to align himself with a company that is on the same core value as him, his belief system, his outlook on life. And that is actually a great start for anyone who wants to get into fashion and doesn't know where to go and doesn't know how to align themselves. And this is the approach that he takes when it comes down to looking at fashion. So the first look right here is that he's wearing an overcoat and this is like a navy overcoat. And then he has a red top with some dark blue denim jeans as well. So that's actually a great look that he has on all together. And there's a, there actually is a bigger size of his photo um, he his pants are not hemmed they're kind of like a lot more looser at the bottom and some clean white sneakers so this look is pretty fresh it really speaks the language of what he likes and what he values and that's pretty cool this shirt right here is flawless this shirt is something that he just don't find in North America and this is why I like about fashion you can pick up pieces you can find interesting exclusive pieces that are pretty much embraced in the heritage of the country or that's just in the tradition or that's just in the style of fashion so this is a great example of a shirt that you can't really pick up in north america if you're looking for something like this shirt i'll actually look for something for you guys but yet again this is what you get from european fashion the second picture i want to get into here is that he's just hanging out with his buddy, clean white shirt. The pants are completely different than anything I've seen. You can pick up pants like these in the links down below. Um, so that's something similar. And then he has some like Converse-like shoes. You can't really see from the front angle here. Then he also has the high ankle socks. The thing that I really like about this whole look is that his accessory, he has a gold watch, silver gold watch, and then he has the black frame glasses with the gold edging. So that's actually a great combination with what he's wearing. And I think he's actually wearing a bracelet on his right hand. So all in all, this is actually a great look that he's stunning for the springtime, summertime. You can definitely try this look out for anyone out there. So next characteristic I wanna to mention to you guys about is actually sourcing out your inspirations. So David Alaba, he mentions that his inspirations come from North America, hip hop culture, and from his father. So it is great that you can find inspirations from hip hop culture as well. So if you do have a favorite artist out there, look into their style, look into what they wear. And so in that being said, sourcing out your inspirations for fashion is a great Great way to start and it is actually a great way if you're looking to advance your style even further so the next thing I want to talk about is actually getting exclusive pieces and that is something that he emphasizes in an article I just read and I quote it's also very important for me to see something quite different to the football world another look right here that's quite unique as it is is he's wearing like a mint green blazer that along with like a supreme tee that's pretty classic. Supreme tea from New York at the same time, a mint green blazer with some sunglasses as well. That looks like the biggie frames that he used to have back in the day. So you can really see him paying homage to hip hop culture with this whole look. This is actually a sick look overall. I wonder what pants he's wearing with this. He's probably wearing green pair of pants. Who am I to say? I'm not sure. But the next look right here is one of my favorites. So it is quite clean, but at the same time, it has a design on the shirt. At the same time, it's open collar, you know, it's relaxed vibe, he's just chilling. To me, this is actually one of the best looks I've seen thus far. So you can see him wearing an open collar printed shirt, white shirt underneath, and then he has the charcoal, uh, the charcoal off-white pair of pants, 
then he has some white shoes and they're complemented by some white socks i believe as well so this look right here is like very clean it's very sophisticated uh put together and it looks like he's wearing a bracelet um, on his left arm as well if you're looking to emphasize your outfit if you want to be exclusive of what you wear take these points of references and apply them into your own look hopefully this video helped you guys out with david alaba's style that you guys pick up three characteristics that you guys can apply into your own fashion make sure to leave a comment in the section down below let me know what you like about this video give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the content and i'll see you guys in the next video